Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool 233G three-slot payphone. This is Merlin's equipment from Colorado and this is the initial checkout of this really cool payphone. And since this is the initial checkout, we want to go ahead and run through a little bit about what needs to be done. Now, when this unit came in, there were no keys to the two locks that we have here, and we had to gain access into this payphone. The locks have been damaged, and it looks like long ago someone tried to break the locks and so that's basically what they've done but they were not able to gain access but they did break the locks and actually on the vault lock there's a drill bit that's broke off inside the key entrance and so that looks like that was done many years ago because of the rust you want to locate some locks and keys, a lock for the front cover and a lock and key for the vault area. We also, when we gained access into the unit, we found a coin box, which is a plus, so that's nice to have. We want to go through the rotary. We want to oil, clean, and adjust the rotary. It is very sluggish, so we'll get that situation taken care of. We also want to install a dial center card and ring. And Merlin is going to take care of the top card sign, the informational sign on this unit. And that's a plus to have that top signage. We also want to rewire this unit the way we want it wired to work the way we want it to work. We're going to be installing a modular port. So any length line cord, any color, that you choose, you can walk right up to the unit and plug right into the modular port. Makes for a simple, easy plug and play connection. We want to go through all of our connections and we want to go through the coin validator. We want to make sure that all the coins are falling through the coin validator and into the cash box. We also want to troubleshoot the bell. There's some issues with the bell and we want to take care of those issues. Now we've troubleshooted this unit a little bit and we know that there is no receive volume. So the receiver is going to have to be looked at and we also want to troubleshoot our security cable and our transmit. On the security cables for payphones, the receiver caps for the receiver and the transmitter are epoxied on most of those receivers. This unit has the caps epoxied. So we're going to have to try to break free the receiver capsule because we need to find out why there is no receive. We have a lot of work that needs to be done and we'll get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool 233G three slot payphone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we are finished up with the repair of this really cool 233G three-slot payphone. And we want to run through a little bit about what went on. Now, the receiver cap was epoxied on to the handset, and that was broke free, and the receiver was replaced. The transmit was troubleshooted, our security cable, and we also repaired the rotary that was cleaned oiled and adjusted and we have a nice smooth return on our rotary now merlin wanted a bell insignia for a center dial card that was installed we also went through the coin validator we made sure that all the coins were falling through into the cash box area we also located a front cover lock and key and a vault lock and key. Now when unlocking and locking the front cover, you always want to press in on the cover. You have to make sure that the front cover is aligned and on properly 
and then you can unlock or lock the key. You never want to put too much pressure on a key. The front cover is a little bit spring-loaded anyway, so you always want to remove the pressure off of the deadbolt of the lock. Now the key, we want to show you that. These come from our supplier. They grind them down for some reason, and that's the way we get them. So we do not touch the key. It is ground down from the supplier. And when you're installing this key into the lock, the cut side of the key goes down. And we'll go ahead and put our key back in the lock. And you want to turn the key clockwise about a half a turn to unlock the unit and then counterclockwise to lock the unit back up. Now the vault key, the cut part of the key is facing up. And this key is not ground down. So we'll go ahead and put our key back into our lock. Same thing, you want to turn that lock to the clockwise position about a quarter, a little over a quarter of a turn, and then counterclockwise to lock your unit back up. And removing the front cover and putting it back on in the vault, that'll take a little practice, but you'll get used to it. Now we also want to mention that you have to plug the front cover into the backboard. There is a wiring harness, it has a plug on it, and then there's a plug on the backboard and you got to plug them in for the telephone to work. It's to make a connection to your rotary and they only give you a short little bit of a pigtail for that plug and so you got to basically take the cover and put it on and then make your connection because they only give you a couple of inches and we will show that in a picture along with the dial center card and what other issues we need to talk about like the modular port that was installed in the back of this unit you can simply walk up and plug any color line cord any length simply plug it right into the modular port it makes for a simple easy plug and play connection We also went through the hook switch. We rewired this unit the way we wanted it wired to work the way we wanted it to work. We also worked on the bell. The bell circuit needed to be finished off and that was taken care of. So really a little bit of everything has been worked on on this payphone. Now we also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And I have an amplifier back by the video. It has a button on it, and when I press the button, I can give dial tone or take it away at any time. And I'm gonna go ahead and press the button. You may hear a little bit of a electrical hum because it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere. So I'll go ahead and press the button. Pretty quiet today. I'll release it. Press it one more time and release it. Now this unit does have an original factory bell in the payphone and we're going to go ahead and use the analyzer and we're going to send a ring cycle so we'll start that. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone.
We can go ahead and walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers run by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <whistles> hello, hello. Go ahead and hang our unit up. Now we can run some coins through the coin validator and they should drop down into the coin cash box area. We'll go ahead and use a quarter and that will gong. We'll use a dime, that'll ring the bell twice. We'll use a nickel, that will ring the bell once. Now what we want to do, since we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, it's dialing out we have transmit and receive, we can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call a time and temp number. Go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. Go ahead and hang our unit up. We can make one more call. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. We'll make that call. Go ahead and hang our and set up. Now we can go ahead and check our cash box. So we'll unlock our vault door, set that to the side, and we'll pull our cash box out. Merlin's getting rich with bubblegum money. It's a plus to have a cash box in these units, so that's cool. Make sure our cash box is pushed back all the way, and then we will go ahead and lock our vault up. Now that we know that this really cool 233G three-slot payphone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Merlin, and he can enjoy this payphone. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's installed. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.